Hello, hello again friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to episode 7 of XCOM. Yeah, yeah, it is episode 7, isn't it? Hello, hello again friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to episode 7 of XCOM 2. We're making now, progress we... against the aliens, and it sounds like we're starting to get the civilians' attention in the colonies. It's important that the crew knows people out there need us and want us to help turn this thing around. They have to know there's a reason to endure all this. That's actually very close to what I was going to say. <laughs> nice one, Bradford. But anyway, uh, I have some plans at the moment. And because I've been looking at this in between recording sessions, and I've kind of decided that I want to kind of aim things a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty here and put that on pause for the time being. So we're going to go here and we're going to clear this one out instead. So we're going to excavate there. And what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and change as expected, Commander. my research at the moment. So change research. I'm going to change this to magnetic weapons. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. Thank you, Tegan. Make sure you do. And what I'm going to do is have Avenger a look at the black course. market as well. Because I spotted that there was something there that I really want. And it's really going to help us right now. And Our what that is... Here we go. I can put a rush on our magnetic weapons. So that's what I'm going to do. And I would like to pick up another engineer. That would be nice. But I'm not willing to spend that much intel. Uh, in fact, I am going to go and get the psionics research as well. And that'll leave us on 55 intel. But that's enough for the moment. And we can always get more by researching those data pads. Setting course for the Brazilian so let's corridor. come back and carry on making contact here. So we can start working towards making contact with the mission site down here. Because we can only do that when we get more contacts, and we can only get that by building resistance comms. Attempting to establish so that's what we're going to go and do. Contact. So let's see what else we get. Power relay now operational. Okay, so that's awesome. So we can go and view facilities. Now that's been finished being built. We can go and move the engineer elsewhere. So what I'm thinking is get the engineer to go and excavate here. That's going to that's going to be a long game, a long game thing at the moment. So I'm not worrying about that just yet, but I am going to put a, a, a workshop there. So that'll be nice. But we also need to get a f quite a few other things in at the moment. There's so many th there's so many different aspects to this game that we need to juggle. It's absolutely ridiculous. But let's get back to the bridge, see what else we can do. Finish scanning here. There we go, we've made contact here. So this is going to be great. This is going to be more supplies at the end of the month. So that's great. So we now have contact with New Brazil. Okay. And as soon as we get uh, a comm site, we can go and make contact with New Chile and then go and attack the facility. That's what we really need to do. So what we can do is, because we've only got eight days until the supply drop, I could go to go for one of these supply things, or we could just go and scan at Resistance HQ. Sector 9, Western United States. Because at Resistance HQ we get faster build times, and that's what we really, really need at the moment. We need to get a lot of things built in a very short amount of time. Because let's let's double check what we have. Yeah, build faster. That's what we've got. And we've now got a dark event complete. Alien infiltrators. So we've got faceless on all the missions. So that's going to be fun. And the Avatar project is making headway. I know. There's nothing we can do about this right now. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I know, I know. And we have a retaliation site. Great. Where's this? Oh, it's right here. 
Okay. So, this is going to be fun. So, I don't think... Let's see. No, we've still got one day left on these. And I don't... I think we have to do this now. We can't not. So, we have to go and take on the... The retaliation. So, our squad's looking good. We've got a couple of heals. Uh, actually, we can go and get... Since we've got the new armor, we can give you a grenade as well. So, we've got grenades, we've got med kits, and that's great. Uh, we're going to have to take it very, very slowly. Actually, <laughs> I just realised as well, you've still got normal armor. Because for some reason, when you have the resistance pack stuff, it doesn't automatically change over. So, it doesn't automatically change over from this one to this one, which it should do. But there we go. So, that's good. So, we've got grenades. Yeah, we can go and put in a weapon upgrade for you. What can we get? A repeater? I'm not doing that one. Advanced auto loader. That is very tempting. Um, expanded magazine. Uh, let's go for the advanced auto, uh, the advanced reload, because that at least will be free reloads. So that's going to be great. And I always find that the re free reloads help most on the heavies, if not the heavies on the snipers. But we'll see. I just wish we could have got our uh, our magnetic weapons up before this happened. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. No, I don't think we. I didn't. Didn't imagine that we would. Um, now I really, really, really don't want to run up too quickly on this one. As much as I want to save everybody, I am going to take this slowly. So, let's go and see how this goes. Uh, we'll try going up here. Have we spotted something? I think... Yes, we did. Oh, bloody hell. This is not going to go well. These mutons seem a little more agile than the ones we've fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line, though. Okay. Ooh, this is not going to be fun. That's affirmative. Now, can I get a grenade over there? I s oh, I can. Can I get it so it hits both of them? That's the question. No, but I can hit the muton, which is going to be the best thing we can have right now. Because I want to have his armor shredded. So that's helped immensely. And a death should. Why can't you shoot at anything? Why can't you fire at them? Oh yeah, that's why. You you sprinted over. Yeah, I'm stupid, aren't I? Right, bam. Whatever You're going to have to move up. Can we get a shot on the Muton? 25%, 58%, at least get to try and get rid of one of these. There we go, we've got rid of one of them. We can't go and slash, we can throw a grenade, but I don't... Yeah, no, it's never going to reach. And we have only 12% chance to hit. Oh, this is not going to go well. I mean, we can do a combat protocol, but we're only going to do two damage to him. And that's not enough to kill him. Uh, let's go on Overwatch. And let's go on Overwatch as well. Hopefully, hopefully the Muton's going to try and move and hopefully we're going to kill it. Yes, we're losing civilians, but we it's just just nothing we can do about it right now. The aliens are super aggressive here. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. Yep, he has tried moving. Come on. 
Oh, we got him. Come on. Come on. Just one more hit. Oh, we missed. Come on. But he's in range for a... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's aiming at me. Oh, he's throwing a grenade. This is not good. It could have been worse. He could have been aiming for death. Yeah, I get that. Right. Who could use a... Let's see... I think we'll get me a promotion, I think. I'm not going to use a combat protocol because that's just pointless. There we go. Yes, you definitely did. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, what do we get? I don't know. Find out. Sorry. <laughs> Leering court and oh, an advanced laser sight. Okay. That's. I'm happy with that one. Okay, so we need to start moving okay, up again. And we have some heals that we can go throwing okay, around. Position. And everyone's taken four damage, so I think it is a potentially a good time to go and start using them. So, let's see. We have two gremlin heals here. So, let's go and heal... You? Go medical. So, that's great. I do have a med kit as well. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can. I can use it. Uh, you should have a med kit as well. But I don't see it anywhere. So... Another gremlin heal. Heal yourself. So that's everybody back up to full health, apart from me, but I can heal myself fairly soon. So, that'll be nice. No, where do I want to go? Let's go here. Way. I'm just hoping this is not a faceless. I you really hope this is not a faceless. Here. Thank you. Thank you. That would have been absolutely terrible with that a faceless right now. Uh, so, let's Already get there. moved up. We need to get our sniper into a decent position as well. He's the only one that's not been hit so far. How do you see them? I really was hoping not to spot them yet. But yes, we're losing civilians again, and I really hate it when we lose civilians, especially when Bradford comes up and tells us, we're losing civilians, do something, and there's nothing I can do about it. But how, how are we seeing them? How is this possible? You're shooting me through a solid wall. Yeah, this is certainly not going the way I want it to. But this guy's running up. He's going to stun us through a wall. So that's not great. How is this even possible? This is just bugged out massively right now. It's giving us a massive tactical disadvantage. But there's not a lot we can do about it. Uh... So, let's fire a grenade over. Hopefully, we can get rid of this lock-on. Yeah, because this is a solid wall. You're not supposed to be able to see me through this. But, oh well. I can shoot you. And I have a 10% crit chance. I have a... The, if I do do this for all my damage, I can take you out completely. But we'll wait for a minute. Uh, let's see. I can shoot you two somehow. But can I get up here? Yes, I can. I'm trusting you here. So let's get up on top of here. I'm hoping we won't spot any more advents. But at the very least... We can get rid... Oh, can we not? No, we can't. Okay. 
So at the very least, we're going to have to just get rid of this guy, if we can possibly do that. No. Okay. But we can shoot him with a pistol. So hopefully, we'll do full damage. Two damage, damn it. Oh well. So, spin this camera around, see who else we've got. We've got me. Or have we got me? Yes, we have. Can I do a combat protocol? Yes, we can. So that's going to kill this guy with a combat protocol. And that's going to remove the target effect. I suppose I could have moved up a little bit further for, uh, further beforehand, but oh well. I'm going. So let's move up, bam, and see what we can see. 54% on him, 68 on him. Let's see if we can hit him at least. There we go, we've done some damage. So let's here move you here. And then we can lob a grenade. Uh, is that even po is, is that even practical? It's probably not. Let's just go for a shot instead then. There we go, we've killed him. And he's the, he's the, the dangerous one right now. I think uh, Firaxis really needs to to, uh, <laughs> to patch in the aliens being able to see us through walls, because that's really not good. And we do have a faceless. Oh, crap. This we could have really done without. They're backing up. Advance. But at least he's running away. And yet again, we're going to be losing civilians. I'm not surprised about the we're faceless at civilians. all, but we, come to, we could have done with it a bit later. We need to get these people out of here. So where are you going? Right, you're going here. I think he's going to try slashing here. Because his slash, has, yeah, his slash has four tile range. That's not fun. Okay, so we need to spend every every effort we've got on taking this guy down. So for some reason, we can shoot him through the ceiling. Let's go for, for that at least. Four damage. He's so tall he's clipping through the ceiling. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Bam here, 77% chance to hit. And we get some more damage. Let's move already. So let's move up here. So at least we'll be in cover for if the guy comes back. And that's the faceless down. Who's keeping score? Toss me some ammo. I know you're keeping score. And you know what's weird? Is that voice sounds creepily like you in real life. <laughs> you're safe. Now get moving. Good. Right. So let's go for on Overwatch as well. And let's move me up as well. Now, I am very hesitant to go and use this wall as cover, seeing as people, uh, the enemy seem to be able to see through it so easily. But hopefully that idiot's going to come back now. But no, I think there's another mute on there, perhaps. Either that or it's a sectoid. So let's I'll move you okay. here and see what we can see. We don't see anything. At least I don't think we see anything. But we'll go on Overwatch. We're actually we'll leave that for the minute. Okay, bam. We need you to move up and be our eyes. Get it covered. So what do we see? Not a lot. So let's move up and hopefully this isn't going to be another let's faceless. Go. No, good. Come 
but you want to overwatch. You're going to go and pistol overwatch because we've only got a few more people to move up. And I really, really, really don't want to go here in case you are a faceless. So let's move here and go on overwatch. And me, I will move here and again go on to overwatch. Just because I want to have something physical between me and the enemy. So I'm hoping the enemy just blunder into us now when we're pretty much ready for them. Come on, come on. Blunder into... There we go. That's what we wanted. Wow, sniping... <laughs> that was a one hell of a sniped... <laughs> sniped shotgun shot. Oh, there's a lot of them there. So come on, move in. Move in a bit more. There we go. Come on. Let's see how this goes. We've got four of them by the look of it. And it looks like we need some ammunition. Actually, let's go and have a look at uh, death. 90% chance to hit. And... Oh, this is potentially we can take him out completely. Uh, it's 82. Oh, let's go for it. Please take him out. Yes, there we go. So that's the biggest, scariest thing here out the way. So we need to reload first. So that's fine. Let's go for the 52% chance to hit. Uh, we could throw a grenade, but I don't think we're going to reach. No one. Is that, is that? Was that? No, we can just about get his cover. So we'll go for the 52% chance to hit. We missed, but oh well. At least we're not getting ourselves out yeah, in the open. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay, bam. Let's move you up here. We might... Oh, what's this? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> does this reach them, though? Yes, it does. We killed the one that was on the on the top. That's awesome. So, we'll move me up as well. And can... No, we can't. I didn't think we'd be able to do that. Got a 57% chance to hit... Oh, it did manage to hit, so that's great. Toss me some ammo. Okay. So Roger let's that. move up. I'm going to die if this is, an, is this is a faceless now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We do have a 52% chance to hit. And that's a bit iffy. Do we have anybody else that can shoot right now? I don't think we do. No, it is just us. So, let's just go and fire over the flashbang. At least throw him off right now. Because that way we should be okay if he returns fire. Because he's going to have aim penalties. He's going to not be able to use too many of his abilities. So, that'll be nice. I'm hoping that he's one of the last ones around, but I don't think he is. I think it's too much to hope for. miss. Oh, there is somebody else over there. Okay. God, you miss as well. God, miss, miss. Ah, oh, damn it. So the one we didn't screw up, actually, they might be screwed up as well. They just might not be able to see them. So, was that his cover that disappeared? No, it wasn't. So where's Taves? Here we are. Taves, can you move up to here, please? Let's see if we can see anybody else. What we got? We've got you, and we have you there as well. You've got a good shot on him, so go for it. So that's him down. Awesome. So hopefully we've just got this guy as well, who's completely out of it at the present. What's your percentage chance to hit? Fairly good. 
So go for it. There we go. Is that all of them? No, that guy's going to be a faceless, isn't he? Okay, so this is not going to be fun. Right, okay. So I think he is going to be the last one, though. So we have got a shot. It's a 62 percenter. We'll give it a go. Awesome. So we have got a couple of us still able to fire and still able to attack. Oh, right, okay. We need to reload. Rock and roll. We can't see him, so we're going to have to go to Overwatch if we want to get some any shots on him this turn. And let's rotate the camera. If you say so. We'll go here. We can see it, but we'll open the door as well so we can see him both ways. 76%. We'll go for that. Maybe we'll get lucky and crit. No, but hopefully as he moves down, hopefully uh, Bam is going to be able to hit him. Oh, he's healed. Oh, yeah, I forget about that. Come on, Bam. Save us. Oh, there you go, Bam. You are a hero. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Oh, that is so much better. Thank you. So that was awesome. Apart from the fact we have almost all, the entire squad gravely wounded. But, but uh, Rob Watt, you do get a promotion. And we get the cho choice of run and gun or conceal. Now, conceal would be nice, but I think we're going to go for run and gun. So that's awesome. The only person that wasn't hurt was Death. You bastard. But I think this is the first time <laughs> Taves has actually gotten wounded. So I think your luck's finally run out, man. But we also got an Illyrium Corner and Advanced Laser Sight, so that's really nice. Plus 10% to, uh, to crit chance. That's awesome. So that's awesome. So we got some more, we're getting some more supplies. We have two days to clear here and start building. So let's go ahead up here. Okay, ooh, five days, we get an engineer. I'll go and check that out in, um, actually, we'll go Avenger and check that now. Because engineers are very, very useful. We'll go for the engineer and then we'll go and start looking for some supplies. I think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Yes, it certainly is. So we've got magnetic These weapons magnetic now. magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. I somehow think that guns similar to that would have a lot more recoil, but they're bloody awesome. And now we can get a lot more upgrades made. So that's going to be awesome. Well, we can make mag pistols and magnetic pistols. Mag the shard gun, so magnetic shotguns, and the magnetic rifle. We can get all of these made. Um, we can go and start researching gauze weapons, which I really want. Uh, we've got psionics, gauze weapon, and gauze weapons. Gauze weapons, I think, are the first thing I want to get done, and then we'll go for psionics. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. So that's awesome. The aliens have considerable resources at their disposal, but we've still managed to do reasonable. Yeah, we have done well. So let's finish this. Hopefully, we're not going to get any missions and stuff before this. Uh, the time it time here elapses. Oh, alien debris cleared. Okay, awesome. Uh, we need to build a. Is this the right one? I think. Let's double check. Yeah, it is this one. 
So I can start building here. I'm going to start building the resistance comms. The next thing we're going to build is the shadow chamber. Resistance commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Oh, we will. We will. Don't worry. I'll, as soon as we get another engineer, I'll plonk the engineer in there and that'll give us some, uh, some power. At least to begin with. And then we can put the workshop here. And then the shadow thing there. But actually, I think the shadow one is more... is more pressing right now, actually. So we'll put you here. We'll carry on going there. Carry on clearing here. So that's going to be good. It's getting to the point where we can start removing things as well, but I'm not going to do that yet. We'll see how well this goes. And... Let's carry on going here. So I want that engineer, because that engineer is really going to help now. There we go, we've got another engineer. So what that means is that now we have another engineer, we can come here, throw in another engineer, and reduce the, the build time here. So that's going to be good. So that's awesome. We've got all three engineers hard at work. And next we need to get this cleared so we can build the shadow chamber. And as soon as that's all cleared and we get the shadow chamber starting to be built, we can put one engineer here to start building. The council happy anymore, even with the spokesman lurking in the shadows. Yeah, that is nice. But anyway, after this is cleared, we're going to put the shadow uh, the shadow thing here. I forget what it's called, shadow something. We'll put that here. Have one engineer working there, and we can move the other engineer up here in the power relay to go and give us more power. So that's going to be great. That'll help us out immensely. So that's the plan currently. So there we go. We've got the ability to go and do this. Now, Commander, can we make right contact now, we don't here? We have enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. So, we need more intel. That's fine. But what we can do, because we're having a supply drop very soon, is... Oh, we can't even install a radio relay. That's 75 supplies. Uh, okay, so, off to the black market. New so, if we install a radio relay, we can actually go and... Have, it'll cost a lot less to make contact. So we just need a little bit more money to be able to do this. So let's sell the invent sell some stuff out of the inventory. Expanded magazine. I'm actually going to sell this one because it is only plus one. Uh, I'll keep that stock for now. Going to keep the advanced repeater. So yeah, let's keep that for now. There we go. 72. We have enough to go and. Put a radio re install a radio relay here. Oh, it's 75 supplies. Sorry. Uh, where am I? Yep, yeah, black market. Come on. Sell inventory. It's like 75. My fault. I completely spaced on that. Uh, yeah, let's sell the stock as well. I don't really like the the one damage ones. So we've now got enough to definitely come and do this. Install radio relay. So as soon as we install that radio relay, we're going to get more stuff on our next next supply drop. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You okay. have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Yeah, me too. Oh, right, okay, what have we got here? UFO hunts the Avenger, Viper around, so those are not going to be fun. That's not going to be fun. And what's this last one? Uh, yeah, Intel costs for the next month, okay. So that's not going to be fun either. Avenger plotting new course. So we'll go and get this here, get our supplies back up, because we're dreadfully low right now. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. 
Yep, that's awesome. So we've now got gorse weapons. That's gonna be the mag cannon and the gorse rifle that we can actually go and make. So the sniper rifle and the cannon. So that's gonna be great. Uh, what do I wanna go for? Technically, I wanna go for this one, really, I do. So we'll go for that one. Priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. So that's great. Soon we're going to be able to get some resistance comms up in six days, so that's awesome. So let's carry on getting this. Hopefully we're not going to have any missions before this happens. There we go, we've got it. So that's great. Uh, let's go and sort this out. We might end up having to go to the black market again very soon, selling off, being a bit more aggressive on what we sell. You loud and clear. So that's great, we've now got a radio relay there as well. So making contact down here, we can't do it yet because we don't have the resistance comms, but it's now only 30 intel down from 60, I think it was. So that's awesome. Uh, we could do a making contact up here as well so we can get the bonus for here. So all GTS tactics costs are 50% only half the price, so that would be absolutely amazing to have. But whilst we're waiting, we don't have any any other things to go and look at, so we might as well just go and start setting course no, there. for the Western US precinct. We might as well go start scanning back at home base so we can get our basically uh, our construction bonuses. We'll get resistance comms. Commander, the aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are okay. cropping up around the world. Right, where is this? So as soon as we go, actually, as soon as we make contact with where we are now, we can go and make contact here as well. Yeah, oh, that's not fun. But as soon as we get resistance comms, we can make contact here. And then straight after make contact here as well. So this is actually very, very nice and very good. So we need resistance comms to be up. Mm, okay. Resistance communications facility now operational. Awesome. So that's amazing. Uh, okay. So let's view the facility. There we go. So we've now increased the amount of the amount of people we can have contact with at one time. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, so that's there. Now this is paused and that is got one day. So as soon as that is, we've got one day left to go. So let's carry on scanning. But what we can do is I don't know, we should have enough to make contact here. Yes, we do. We have enough to make contact here. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I know how we can work around that. Attempting These to... findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Yeah, this is awesome. So assign you research. So we now can make the Scilab. So that'll be awesome as well. Uh, we can make the advanced Siamp. But now we're going to go and start researching the, the data cache from this technology. I'll have a report because we're so low. Research is complete. We're so low on intel right now. We really need to do that. So let's carry on making contact. Oh, what we got? Is this the Avatar project? Yes, it is. They're making more strides. Commander, the aliens so. continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them yes, down. I know. We need to move fast. I am. I am. I'm doing it. Can't you see, Bradford? Oh, alien machinery cleared. Okay, view Maximum room. Maximum power consumption reached. Okay, so I can't make the shadow chamber yet, but I will be able to. So we've got all the all the engineers are available. So there you go. You can go in there. So that's giving us plus five power. Which will allow us to build the shadow chamber. We've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. That's fine. And now what we can do is go and put you in there and you in there as well. So now that's going to be 
finished so much faster. Uh, as soon as we finish what we're doing now, we can move one of you out of there into here, and that will increase the amount of things we can actually go and do as well. So that's going to be great. So we've got the Shadow Chamber being built, although, actually, come to think of it, let's take let's empty one of you out, because that I'm not worried about too much right now. It's going to take 15 days. I want this being done faster. I completely forgot about that, but there we go. We haven't lost any time. So now we have things being done, so that's great. Uh, so let's go back and do some more scanning. We're actually, we need to come back out, don't we? And we've got two wounded soldiers still. Hopefully they're going to be getting back in the fight fairly soon. Oh, and we have new missions to do. So let's, let's see what we get. Lots of uh, supplies, alien cipher. Uh, a scientist, uh, stops the UFO. And what's this, another engineer. Um, to be perfectly honest, I want to go for this one. So yeah, we'll go for that one. But first of all, I am going to quickly fly over to the black market and try and get a little bit more money back because we need to get some new equipment for this mission. So as soon as we get the money for the equi for the equipment, we'll go and do this mission. So I'm going to have to be a little bit vicious here with what I'm selling. Uh, I'll sell a normal repeater. And here we've got Illyrium crystals, sectoid corpses. I'll sell a couple of those. Yeah, I'll sell a couple of Illyrium cores. Actually, no, I'll keep the Illyrium cores. Not want to. Don't want to sell that. Don't want to sell that. So many things I do not want to sell. Well, that's 53. Shadow Broker. So we're selling a good amount of stuff here. Uh, Illyrium Crystals. Sell it. Actually, no. They're only worth a little, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Let's go back then. Well, let's go into engineering and see what we can build. New orders, yeah, Commander. Yeah, we're not going to be... We haven't got enough to build what I want right now. Oh, so we can go for gorse rifles, which is 150 supplies, and that is brutal. Uh, shard gun is 75. Mag pistol, mag rifle. Oh, mag rifles are only 125. We might get away with this. So I'm going to. I'm definitely going to build the mag rifle, uh, the magnetic rifle. We can't do the gorse rifle yet because we need 150. And we are only 12 away from that, so we I can do this. We're just going to make 12 more. I just hope it's not metal. Yeah, I hope so as well. But sorry, but I'm in a rush. Actually, come to think of it. And we can't buy anything anyway. Uh, I just saw that we have uh, supplies that you can buy from here for intel. But, oh well. So we just need 12. So we can sell off one Illyrium core. Then, is this the one we want? Supplies? Yes. Confirm. For Western United States. So we've got our mag, our mag guns. So what we want now is the gorse rifles. So we'll go over to build items, weapons, gorse rifle. The mag cannons can wait for a bit until we finish the mission. And let's go and sort out this last, this next weapon upgrade. So advanced repeater, 10% chance to instantly kill. And I've talked to Rouge and I've decided that I want to name this gun something interesting. Roulette. Oh, wait a sec. I completely spelled that wrong, didn't I? Roulette. I do find it a money that a fun a money. I do find it funny that Rouge's character is Russian. And now we've got the uh, the Russian roulette gun that kills that instantly kills <laughs> one in ten times. So let's go and quickly edit this. Tactical black. There we go. Perfect. And let's go. Men 
this 1-5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay. Now, one of the things I like doing on these particular types of missions is bringing specialists with me. So I can actually go and hack the data from a distance. I don't need to get up close and personal. And I am liking the fact that we are starting off uh, stealth. So that is very nice. Now I don't see anything Location yet. Confirmed. Which is good. Roger that. We'll move me up here. So what do we see? Nothing at present. Moving out. Now let's move up here for the moment with Rouge. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is not fun. I didn't expect the, to see them so soon and so early. But I do have a cunning plan. It's a plan so cunning you can stick a tail on it and call it a weasel. And... What I hope this will do... I don't think I can actually get this to hit both of them, can I? No. Okay. Well, at the very least, I want to get the mute on. What I'm hoping this will do will take out the floor. Yep, there we go. See him just fall down. He took two fall damage as well, so that is great. And now we can go... Oh, hello there. Yeah, we've still got normal pistols, so we'll go and see how well this goes at the moment. We'll wait for Rouge. Uh, we can't go and snipe. We don't have the ability to do much with you at present. We have combat protocols, but that's not going to help. We do have a 69% chance to hit. Yeah. Now, what else we got with everybody else? We can do more with you, though. We can get up, and potentially we can, can go and kill that... Seems doable. That sectoid. So let's give that a go. Because the sectoid... Actually, I want to kill a muton more than anything else. But we do have an 82% chance to hit it. There we go, he's gone. Good. Now, we can't do much here. Will we still be able to see him? We have a 50% chance to see him. Although, can we go and pull the same trick twice? Looks like we can. Suck on that. <laughs> so, he's taking full damage as well, which should give Rouge the opportunity... Take it out with a pistol burn. shot. Awesome. Now look at that for some awesome tactics. The only problem is, is we've now been spotted. So right. this is not going to go well for when we see other enemies. But at least we took them out in one turn. And I've just spotted there is a unit up there. I just saw something there. It was a mechanised unit. And that's going to be fun. Now, we'll leave Rouge here for the moment. We'll move everybody else up ever so slightly. We've just been spotted. There he is. There's the mechanised unit. Let's go and try and hack him. Oh, we can't. Okay, we need to move up further to see. I'm going. Alright, Bam, you can move up here. What can we see? Not a lot. You've got a 55% chance to hit this guy. Well, we'll go for it at least. Nope, you missed. 
it seems that 55 is no longer the magic number, at least in XCOM 2. But we do have a chance to kill something. Wait a sec. Can we see the actual... So, where's, where am I? Uh, can't try the Haywire Protocol, because I can't seem to see the okay, thing. I'll go. So, let's move up here. Maybe we'll be able to see it from here. There we go. Oh no, that's a hack point there. But we can see the other one, can we? No, we can't do the Haywire Protocol, but let's have a look over here and what we can hack. It might be something useful. It might be something useful, it might not. If it's not, then we're not bothered. Let's see. Uh, game control of a random enemy for two turns. Ooh, well, that's going to be interesting. Oh, come on, please. If not, then we're getting... Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we got it. We could have got that one as well, but that is awesome. So we got control of a random enemy. This is going to be so much fun. Who do we get? Who do we get? Oh, we got you. That's going to be awesome. Oh, we've got a turret up there as well. But that gives us a, a spot of that guy there. So that is awesome. So let's go for Deadeye. It's a 64% chance to hit. We can give it a go because we potentially can take this thing out if we hit. Come on. No, we didn't. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Now, Mia Wolf, you've still got the ability to move up. Roger that. But we can't get you into some any decent cover apart from here. And we still have you. Yeah, we'll give it a go. We're most likely not hit. Yeah, I didn't think so. Missed the target. Oh, we could have shot the other one. I actually thought that was the one we'd mind controlled. But this is great. <laughs> They'll all be fighting amongst themselves now, so this is great. So he's gonna start firing grenades. Please, f don't. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, that's not fun. So at least a lot of this. There we go. Yep. Yeah. At least that was one shot that didn't come towards us. And hopefully, we'll be able to get the Haywire Protocol in effect very soon. Yeah, that's not fun. Okay, so... Right, you need to come inside. Because you're burning. We need to get a medkit on you right now. Oh, that means I'll be burning as well. Right, where can I get? Because if I go there, I have to be burning. Right, okay. Um, 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 um. Bam, let's Back move you over. over. I'm trusting you here. Yeah, please do. Right, who's got a med kit? You have so gremlin heal. Gremlin, get on the heels. Yeah, go on. Let's put the burn out. Otherwise, we're going to lose another mem another troop, and I don't want to do that. There we go. So he's healed, and he should not be burning anymore. And we should still. No, we can't. We we moved beforehand. So we can shoot at that, but we can go for a haywire protocol. Let's try and hack this. If not, we'll go for a combat protocol on it. So we've had a bit of luck ha hacking right now, so hopefully this is going to happen. Yeah. At the very least, we can shut it down. But yeah, let's just shut it down for the moment. I don't want to risk... Oh yes, I'm glad. I'm so glad we didn't try going for the bigger one. 
My heart was in my throat right there. We're in. So it's shut down. Okay, that's fine. Or at least it's not going to be firing back at us. And have we just mind controlled another? Another troop? Okay, Rouge. What have we got? Got a shot at you. You. Oh, and you guys at the back as well. Well, let's try and get this mechanised one out of the way. Come on. You can do it. Oh, nearly. Oh, well. We might be able to take it out still. Seventy percent chance. Let's give it a go. There we go. No longer a threat. So that's that mech troop out of the way now, at least. So, yeah, Mia's earned a promotion, and you are okay. So let's just put you on Overwatch for the moment. So I can't believe we just mind mind controlled a random person over there. Oh, please hit. <laughs> That'd be great. I really don't want to risk uh, me being killed right now. I'm taking fire. Oh, God, he aimed for... That sounds bad, but I'm, I'm happy that he aimed for me instead, not me. <laughs> All right, we'll go for... Yeah, best shot over there. 64% chance to kill the sectoid. Oh, yes. Critical shot right between the eyes. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Okay, so what do we have? Not a lot. 31% chance to hit. I mean, theoretically, and if you go there, we're going to burn... Is that even if we're up just up the top? Yeah. Moving out. Um, let's go here. What's this? Oh crap! Turret. Didn't realise that was there. What's the health of the turret? Oh, it's fine. We can take it out. We can take it out of the combat protocol. Come on, fifty-nine percent, forty-nine percent. Almost got him. If we can just hit him with a grenade now, that will go and take him out completely. Yep, okay. So, what can I do? I can go for a combat protocol on the turret. So that's going to take the turret out completely. And if I have another action, I will go and heal myself. I really should have done that before now. So, good job, Pikachu. Okay, we have a grenade. Can we throw it far enough? No, we can't. Whatever you say. But we can move up close enough so that we can... Oh, there's another turret. So, that's fun. And we have spotted... This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Yeah, we will. Don't worry. But I've got another, one more combat protocol, so that'll take this guy out. So I can see this for some reason. But at the moment, this guy's the most pressing. Can we use... Yeah, we can take out the wall at the same time. Hopefully. Good. We've got the wall taken out, so that should give us an ingress point for... Oh, hello. Completely forgot about this. So let's flank him. Hello. <laughs> Hopefully we will have him for another turn so we can run him up onto the roof. Oh, what? Where the hell is that guy? We have a faceless and I'd forgotten that we were having those. Was it over there? Oh, that's two of them. But we have a sniper in place, we can go and handle these.
Yep, no, we've just got this now. So, yeah. Let's move you here. Because you're going to be critically wounded after this, aren't you? We'll put you on Overwatch. Ah, uh, we lost mind control on him. Oh, well. He proved extremely useful, though. This looks a little ugly. Yes, it certainly does. And I'm hoping that those faceless are not in combat range. So one was here. There it is. And for <laughs> the long range snipe, we missed. Target still up. Yeah, oh good, he's not in combat range. Good. Menace one five, the clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. We will, we will, don't worry. I have the hack. I am able to hack it. But let's try and deal with these aliens first. Oh, we need to reload. Damn it. Ready to rock. So I can at least go on to pistol overwatch. Uh, right, me. Combat protocol. Send it against that. We'll get rid of the turret at least. Because that we need to get rid of. So that's that out of commission. That is great. Bam. Let's hack. We need to get this hacked. So hopefully this is only going to take one action. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, no effect on fail. You know what? Um, in combat increased by 25. Okay, that's nice. Or soldier's hacking stat per per permanently increased. Well, you know, we'll take the risk and go for this one because we're not going to get. We're going to get what we're going to get this anyway. So no. Nope. Oh well. We wouldn't have even got that. So oh well. Doesn't matter. I'm happy with the result. I've got access. Menace one five. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Yep, yeah, okay. Run and dry. Yeah, I see that. Uh what's your percentage? 73. What's everybody else's? We can move up a little bit. Affirmative, moving out. So let's get you a kill at least. 87, much better chances. Oh, he, he really is one fugly thing. Okay, so with you, let's reload. And then let's go on to Overwatch. Let's rock Overwatch. Uh oh, don't hit, don't hit. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, we've lost another one. Crap. This is not good. I completely forgot about him up there. Had I remembered, I'd have uh, moved the guy somewhere else. How was that a miss? Shot failed to connect. Oh no, are we in combat range? Please tell me you used up all your actions getting there. Good. Dead eye. Eighty-one percent chance. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire. We nearly killed it. It's got one health remaining. Okay, so let's Heading get up out. here. We'll avenge you. So seventy percent, eighty-seven. Let's go and see how else everybody else. Oh, I can do a. Co I can't do a combat protocol, can I? If you say so. Well, let's take out ugly. Check it before you get too close. Right. So this is not good. So 
So uh, let's move up here for a sec. I want to I want to test something. Now we can't pick him up from here, unfortunately. Seventy percent chance. Come on, hit him and kill him. Come on, kill him. Good. Revenge. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So we lost another soldier. This is not good. Yeah. I'm so I'm sorry, man. We lost uh, you went the way of rebel. I do apologize. It was my own fault for moving in the position that I did. Had I remembered about the guy up top, I would have moved differently. But well, we've got some promotions. Uh, now both of these are nice, demolition and suppression. But uh, I think we're actually going to go for demolition. Because the, uh, the ability to remove cover is very nice. I got a promotion, and I get either covering fire or threat assessment, which means aid protocol. Uh, aid protocol. Oh, there we go. Aid protocol now grants the target a covering fire overwatch shot. So that'd be nice. Or we could go for covering fire, where my actions re react to both movement, fire shooting, and everything. And both of these are nice, but I think. We'll try out this one, because if we don't like it, we can always go and, go and retrain everything here. Because that is possible now, so that's nice. Bam got promoted as well. And he is going to go for Field Medic. So he's going to get even more uses of the... of the drone here. So that's awesome. So we've got a hair trigger and a stock. So it's just... A few more things we can sell because these two are just not that amazing. Hello, Commander. But we got the supplies, so that's awesome. Commander, the ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. Okay, so Bam, you've got reduced will now because you're shaken. But we've also got low intel, that's fine. We're gonna fix that fairly soon. The Advent propaganda machine is running full steam. We're picking up their transmissions even way out in the middle of nowhere. Commander? But what this gives us the option to do the, the opportunity to do now is go and make a couple more things. We can now make the shard gun and the mag pistol. The only one we can't make now is the mag cannon because we don't have enough supplies, but we can go and get enough. But we also don't have enough alien alloys, so we need to go and do a raid. I've been digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding onto since before the war. I keep running across notes scrawled in English and what looks like broken German. I should probably ask him about it. Well, anyway, guys, that's enough for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please do hit those like and subscribe buttons because that really does help my channel out. But anyway, until next time, Commanders, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf, you've been epic, I will see you soon. Until then, keep flying and stay shining.